Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a LEGO Star Wars review, and this one's on Anakin's Bulbous Pod Racer from 2011, of course. So, on the front of the box here, we which have the uh, LEGO Star Wars logo, and same border that we've seen since summer 2010, carried on to here, of course. And picture of both Pod Racers, pod racers in action on Tatooine, and... Also, the minifig selection, and also new Waddle, Sepulpa, uh, Wald, and Obi Wan Kenobi minifigs. Well, new for the time, of course. And recommended ages is 9, four, nine through 14. Set so number 7962 has 810 pieces. And then flip to the back of the box. We would have both pod racers in a resting position, and also both the features of both of them and same border as the front of it and add for three other sets from the time one of which I previously reviewed of course and also add for the Lego Star Wars 3 game down below and there and now on to the manual which like it was for many years is same picture as on the front box cover and everything and on the back how to win on the online survey and then add for Lego Club advertisement for the Lego Star Wars 3 video game that there was and then advertisement for uh, some of most of the other sets that there were at the time and then all the features of it and all the minifigs included again and the pieces that come with the set of course and then the last building steps and so now on to the minifigs included First up, we have uh, a young Anakin Skywalker, well, young kid Padawan version Anakin Skywalker, and however, and as I was wearing the helmet piece that most usual X-Wings and A-Wing pilots usually wear, but with some interesting printing to it, and has goggles uh, printed on, on the face printing for, for there, but the rest of which, and of course, so, and I think all of this also might have came in the uh, Naboo Starfire from the same year, but with the 2015 Naboo Starfighter, it was an actual piece on him, rather than a printing on the ice, of course. So, kind of an interesting change for this one. And, of course, using the short legs, like you'd expect for young kid characters for that. And then, next to which, we have a Sopulpa. Which was all different, new and different. Well, new for the time, but also major upgrade from the original 1999 uh, Sepulpa that came in the Maz Espa Pot Race set from the time. But, however, but unlike that version, and as you see, it does stand on two studs, and also the arms do pivot in two different directions. And and also is on two separate studs. So unlike with that original version, which could, where it was all as one solid piece. And of course, the feet of which do end up with a clip part to it. So you can have whole things in, in there, like in the movie. It also has a whole lot of printing to him in like tan and lavender of course and also for the eyes as well of course and of course this set of which only time we've ever had this updated sepulpa not sure why that is but and if you notice in the clone wars there's a lot more of his uh race and all would be nice to have those included as well but maybe eventually someday we'll get that 
to, but whatever. And the next of which is a uh, Padawan version Obi Wan Kenobi, of which wielding the blue lightsaber and face printing and torso piece kind of the same as her, as it has for her. Well, probably all new for the time. But then, of course, this did get included in plenty of other sets eventually, of course. And then, next to which we have uh, Watto. Well, first time updated since 2001. Because, however, unlike with that original one, where he was a where he was soft plastic minifig, but however, he's kind of a softer material, of course. So, and of course, all the printings of which major update since that original version. But although this version was also included in the 2015 uh, Sith Infiltrator set. But however, although it would be nice if he also could have included his electronic logbook that he uses for uh, counting inventory in Mos Espa, of course. And then last to which we have Walt, which of course is one of the kids off the block uh, in Anakin's neighborhood, uh, part of Mos Espa. And of course the headpiece, same as Greedo's, but however the Torso printing looks quite good and can be and is kind of, and can be workable with some uh, custom alien minifigs, of course, and also of course wearing the short legs, of course. So and of course, kind of an interesting one we get to see. Hey, that was the only one exclusive to this set. And as for the back torso printing, is that Anakin kind of probably the only one with that has a double side face print and it's his traditional mutual face there. And Obi-Wan Kenobi also double side face there. More angry look. And although the cape of which is one of the more thicker material capes. And also good back torso printing to him and but as for this minifig selection as a whole, of which well good to have uh, Walt as an exclusive one, but although what they could have included additionally is either Qui-Gon Jinn or maybe even a Jimmy Skywalker, which or maybe that could come in a later updated version of this set. And, well, just a thought, but yeah. And that is about it with them, with the minifigs. So now on to the first part, uh, Anakin's Pod Racer. It, since of course this was second version of it that we ever had, but although first version which we did get in the very first wave, 1999, well twice then, and then second time we had was in 2019, but 20th anniversary uh, set of course. And although a lot of the design of which is has been carried over to that 2019 version, but with some bits and bobs uh, switched around, of course. That, like for the front part of which, as he does have the traditional uh, helicopter flat pieces, but in yellow, and also a few stickers on it for some odd markings to it. And of course, a little wheel piece, and also. Uh, classic, classic space uh, engine piece in there, making up most of the engine part of it. And, and then also, do you have this uh, trans uh, pinkish purple uh, rod kind of piece in it, representing the electro flow between the two engines, like all pod racers tend to have. But although the, the uh, 2019 version kind of which did use actual lightning pieces for that, unlike with the that original 99 one, and, or, or which did have kind of tra translucent uh, orange piece to that. So, of course, it in this trans uh, pink purple color, uh, which more fitting to that, of course. And then on the sides of which do have, and of course, these 
do open and close acting as the air brakes of course and, and of course these little clip parts acting as exhaust flaps and all and then the back part of which consisting of many uh, black cylinders and also technic uh, areas bits and also ending off with cone pieces of course and then so and that's for the main uh, section of it which is just trans clear uh, technic bars which you can definitely use as uh, stands in your uh, dioramas and mocks and all but also with some tan uh, pins in there which I think well fits for the representing some dusting sands of Tatooine and then as for this bottom part of which which is, stands on this little stand plant part which you can take a slide right off for that since it has a curved slope in there although it would be nice if there was also a, a plate or yeah tan plate in there also to make it slide in more smoother of course and of course, a lot of tan here representing the sands of Tatooine yet again, and a lot of plain gray, on, like gray underneath it. But at least, at least it's kind of well hidden if you're looking at it from a far distance. But then back onto the main build, you do have these long flex tubes going down and to the main uh, cockpit canopy section, which is, does have this little bit of this uh, car hood kind of part and also a little bit of snot using both a wedge uh, plate and a car top part and a couple of flaps with that are put upside down with the uh, smooth bits on the sides but on both sides you got extra technic bits holding the flex tubes in and also a couple of plates and a larger cheese slope with stickers on it and a large jagged slope with stickers on all sides also like the other versions of it and then the cockpit area which does have this little windshield kind of bit to it and also four and also a, four, a red 2x4 plate in there or 2x2 plate in there enough space to fit your Anakin minifig into a port and ride to fly in it. And also like I've been saying is now time for a little comparison of this with the 2019 uh, 20th anniversary one. So as you can see some bits of which are kind of similar but also a little different. Like of course doesn't have the uh, uh, tan base part since has its own extra bit to it since this of course was its own standalone set for the time and instead of a full rod of it does have the uh, the like uh, the Jaco shock parts but in trans pink obviously and of course a little more accurate to that and also the engine parts on both versions, whereas this would uh, a little more specifically built. Oh, whoops. But however, this version has a lot more intricate parts of it going on in there. But for the cockpit part of which, built quite similar to each other, but just but with a color swap in two different areas. So, so at least kind of a bit of a later difference for that. And, and I guess that's about it with Anakin's Pod Racer. And now onto the other one, the Bulba's Pod Racer. And well, and now this would second time we've ever had of this one. And of course the first time we had this was in the 1999 uh, what's it called, a uh, Mos Espa pod race set, of course, and of course that one of which a little different, kind of similar, but yet a little different than this one, of course. So like for this front engine section, which has a whole lot of the grill pieces acting as the 
a front vent part of which, and you're probably wondering, where's the other one of the bar flat parts to it? Well, kind of moved it around and it fell off. It has been lost. Sorry. And also, on top of both of them, as you can see, this does have orange and a stripe of white, and then cuts off to a corner plate in black, of course. And then also do have a couple of uh, curved slopes and tan, and also so the intricacies here with the telephone piece acting as greebling done really well for that, of course. And also cheap slope or curved slopes with stickers on them, of course. And also a little rod kind of piece does have have two of these uh, trans uh, pink pieces acting as the electric flow going between the engines, of course. Nice to see there. And of course, and also on both sides of these same kind of things, but and also a large curved slope right there. And of course, both engines of which do have the little feature where you can pull in that, pull out these little soft blades to it, it's like in the movie, of course. And of course, not present on the original 1999 one, but good to see here, of course. And then also do have more gold bar pieces on there, of course. And then further down, do you have the uh, the large power miner spiky wheels in orange. Nice to get in that color, of course. And also a lot of Exoforce droid arms with a uh, lot of lightsaber rods acting as extra bits to it, of course. And then down below of which, same build for this stamp part like we had with Anakin's one here. And of course without it, it wouldn't stand as easily. But if this were made now and put out as its own separate set, I think probably include some extra Technic bits to put down below, just like the 2019 Anakin's uh, Pod Racer set did. And then a little further down, does have flex tubes going on down into it. And then as for this back section, does have that car hood kind of piece, but with a a little sticker on it and also these uh, fencing pieces acting as railing to it and then a couple traditional binoculars acting as like extra greebling to that well effective really good and also do you get a couple of the roundish bricks with astromech droid heads in orange nice to get in that color and and of course this back side with a couple of long or curved slopes behind the course. In this whole back section, it was quite plenty of open space to it and a whole lot of studs in there. And of course, this little part of which where you can uh, put the bulb into and have them clip on to it. And of course. And you can just rest on in there. Of course, even though kind of similar to the original 1999 one, but however, this which almost as almost as much effective, but not stuck to the studs, of course. But at least, but whereas clipped onto it, which I think is about as much fair to that. And of course, you can swing the arms forward and let them rest on it. That is about it for this one. And so now on to the final verdict. So overall, I think this is which a quite cool set, well, for the time and also now as well. I do get one exclusive fig of Wald, and once again, would have been nice if 
uh, Shimi Skywalker also could have been included, but maybe that could come in a remake of this set down the line or whatever. And of course, good to have updated versions of Watto and uh, Sepulpa, of course. You know, they were quite different than their first original versions from 2001 and 1999, of course. But although the original 1999 set version of this did also have a third pod racer set as well, but Although that would have been a little too much for this set, and would have bumped it up a little more, of course. Unlike with the Wild Junkyard set, that also had pod racers as well in 2001. Although I think that could have been a modern remake as well, but if there ever gets to be remakes of pod racer sets, so yet again, probably include these and also those other pod racers as well, but yeah. And of course, Although kind of nice to have the little stands for both the pod racers, since to represent the sounds of Tatooine, obviously, but yeah. And also, and of course, they which good updates from the original 1999 versions, and although the 2019 version of Anakin's pod racer may be a little bit better than this one, but I can still kind of forgive how this one is, but yeah. And so now, if any of you still have this set from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of it. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to this set, I'd say definitely pick it up. eBay, Bricklink, Mercari, whatever. And that is about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.